This is my Radio Shack PZM microphone. It was manufactured for Radio Shack, and this is today's Retro Review. But first, if you like these product review videos, please subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to know when I post a new video, click the bell icon on top. Now let's do this. In the early 80s, Crown Electronics, or what most of us know as Harman Kardon International, created the PZM or Pressure Zone microphone. Radio Shack received a license to sell this microphone. There's a difference between a PZM microphone and a normal microphone. A PZM microphone detects changes in sonic air pressure instead of sound waves like a normal microphone. The microphone receiver was mounted 90 degrees from the surface material. A PZM microphone detects changes in sonic air pressure instead of sound waves like a normal microphone. Like water, sound has weight. Think of a rock when thrown into a pond. The concentric or coaxial ripples expand from the rock. Now instead of a rock, think of a singer. As the singer sings, concentric or coaxial ripples of sound emit from the voice. Each ring of sound is heavier than the area where there is little to no sound. The PZM microphone records the weight of the sound. As the singer sings, like the ripples in a pond, there is a ring of sound with space between each following ring of sound. Think of the bass sound you feel at a concert. You hear the high notes, but you feel the bass. The PZM records the pressure or the weight of the sound. That said, the PZM tends to record sound evenly and sharp. The PZM manual suggests mounting the PZM on a larger board, somewhere around 2 by 3 foot in size. This larger area captures additional sonic pressure, delivering an improved sound. In English, the PZM eliminates interference from reflected sound waves. It only records sound waves or pressures that are in phase. Crown states, the benefits are wide, smooth frequency response, free of phase interference, excellent clarity, and consistent pickup anywhere around the microphone. Like I said, it sounds good. I bought one of these when Radio Shack started selling them. I used it to record my friend's acoustic guitar as well as my kid's soccer games. While using an acoustic guitar, I velcroed, taped, or tacked it to the wall near the guitar. When I recorded my kids' soccer games, I simply stuck it in the ground and started recording. This mic is over 40 years old. I'm sure it no longer has the magic it once had, but as you can hear from my demo, it still works. Crown currently sells something called the PZM30D for $399. Just think, I got mine for 60 bucks. This is the video camera that I used to use, the JVC GRS-55U. Over the years, I've seen several PZM mounted on plexiglass above choirs in several churches, so I know they're out there. There you have it, a retro review of the Radio Shack PZM microphone. If you like these product reviews, please subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to know when I post a new one, click the bell icon up top. Have a great day. See you next time.